Once Guinness Draft Beer has been kegged and shipped, the only thing left to do is pour it and drink it. The care that goes into crafting Guinness Draft Beer is only matched by the love and care one should demonstrate while pouring it. This long-standing tradition is known to Guinness lovers as the two-part pour. First start with a clean glass at room temperature. Make sure you use a beer clean 20 ounce tulip shaped glass to achieve the best looking pints for Guinness drinkers. Tilting it at 45 degrees, pour your Guinness draft beer two thirds of the way up the pint glass, marveling at that glorious surge. It is important not to allow the spout to touch the beer and also it's important to have the tap fully open to ensure the beer flows freely and smoothly into the glass. Set the pint away from the tap so that people can enjoy the surge and settle. During this process, 10 billion nitrogen bubbles rush up the center and down the sides of the pint. Like a good architect, you need a strong foundation which to build. For the second part of the pour, take up your pint glass, holding it straight, continue to pour, creating a dome proud of the rim. Now complete, you can see that the nitrogen bubbles have settled, forming that perfect velvety head, a perfect two-part pour. Here we are, look at that. I mean, that's fantastic. That's what a pint of Guinness would look like. And this is all the work that's been done behind the bar. I mean, you've got, you know you have the cold keg, you feel it in your hands. You know you've got the right gas mix because you deliver the wonderful creamy head in the right shape and the right size. But what you've got to do is you never look down at the pint, you always look above the horizon. So you've got to tilt the glass towards you rather than you going towards the glass. So you get in behind it like this. Fantastic. You want to get into the neck, you want to get into the, the liquid, you want to get that roasted flavor on the side, you want to get the sweetness of the malt in the front, you want to get that bitterness at the back of the throat. You want to get all those flavors coming through, all the sensory perceptors in your mouth operating, getting that balance of flavor, sending a wonderful message up to the brain saying, this is really what beer is about. This is what quality is about. I've got a perfectly presented looking pint, and now the bonus is the flavor. But serving pints like that, that's what it's all about. That's what gets the customers in. That's what they're looking for. That's what the people who adore Guinness know what they're drinking. They get that perfect pint that perfect look and, they, and most Guinness drinkers who know what they're talking about drink the, with their eyes first. They want to see that vision, they want to see that perfectly poured pint, they want to see it perfectly crafted by the, a, a well-trained bartender. And well-trained bartenders are essential, I mean, they, because when Guinness come, drinkers come in, they go to the bartender that actually knows what he's doing or she's doing, when they can pour it like that, then they, those guys will come back. They will return to that pub on a regular basis. Yeah, this is 247 years of brewing heritage here. The wonderful feeling of the sweetness of the malt at the front, the roasty flavour at the side of the, the mouth and the hops at the back. All those wonderful raw materials and you, know, you really know you get value when you drink it. Mm. Fabulous.